Good day. Is this the famous Alex Guanichelli? It is. How are you? I am so fine. I want to thank you, and thank you for joining us on the Valder Beebe Show here in Dallas, Texas today. Of course. You know, you're called uh, a celebrity chef, you know. And they told me you're going to whip up some holiday favorite desserts, you know, so we can all be, you know, get, get a lot of accolades this holiday. Yeah, I, I, that's exactly what I think professional chefs should do. They should, you know, <laughs> bolster your recipes, give you new ideas, and make you look really cool in front of your family and friends. I think that's part of what we're supposed to do. I am making one of my favorites right now. It's a chocolate walnut cake with um, a few candied orange peels. Ooh. I definitely, yeah, I definitely associate flavors like candied orange peels. These are just literally oranges, um, the skins that have just been gently simmered in sugar until they're tender. I have some fresh pomegranate. That's another flavor I really associate with the holidays. It's so vibrant and beautiful. You yeah. can sprinkle that on top of this chocolate walnut cake. Cinnamon, definitely a big sort of reminiscence, childhood uh, aroma and flavor for me. So a lot going on with the holidays. Um, as you can see, obviously, walnuts front and center. This is my fourth year partnering with Fisher Nuts. I'm super excited to work with a great American brand like this. I have a lot of my ideas on the website, which is fishernuts.com slash Alex. I kind of have my own section, you know, like when you get your own parking space. Um, and the other wonderful thing about Fisher Nuts is that they'll also be holding volunteer events all across Texas on November 18th to help families in needs. These are um, sponsored food drives. Um, and it's just one of the wonderful things I love about Fisher. And you can check your local food bank to get more details about that. But targeting Texas, Fisher on the ground, showing the love. And I love that. I love that. Them. Yeah, me too. I do. Me too. Mm -hmm. Nuts without well, preservatives and philanthropy at the same time. You can't beat it. And that's a great pairing. And also, that's a great cake. And now, can I really make yeah. that cake with my audience? Can we make that cake now? You really can I, I know what okay. you're saying. I hear that little bit, that suspicious undertone in your voice. <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, it really is. I've made this with my daughter before. It's just a simple cake batter. You mix it up, bake it, take it out. You make a chocolate buttercream and just top it with all this wonderful stuff. If you want to save a little bit of time or make it a little bit easier, you can just melt chocolate with a little bit of cream, whisk it together until smooth, and just pour a glaze over the cake, and that'll save you the frosting time, which is cool. And then you just get some cool garnishes. Pomegranates, orange sections, orange peels, raspberries, lots of stuff you can use for the holidays. I like this idea of bringing chocolate to the holiday table. I feel like we get caught up in a lot of pie, and chocolate and nuts, they just get neglected. And I just, I'm not having it. And nuts are so healthy for you, they really are. Nuts are very satisfying. That's the thing. I can eat a handful of walnuts and actually feel satisfied, which I can't say about a lot of things. Um, and, yeah, they're good food, and they're, and they're fun. Great texture. Well, look, I've watched, I've watched you and Alex day off, and you make it seem so easy and seamless. Is it because you're a professional, or is it because you love what you do? It isn't always easy to cook, and I'm not going to lie about that. I think we all had our, we've all had our struggling, hard moments in the kitchen, but it's so rewarding. And even if your cake's a little lopsided or your omelet's a little overcooked, when you make stuff from scratch at home, they're your friends. They're your family. They've got to love you. They have no choice. They're stuck with you. <laughs> That's a good way to put it, Alex. You know, you've become such a, 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 um, a staple or force on the Food Network and the cooking channel. I have. I I like your app, yeah. I'd Great. like to ask you. Yeah, how'd you do that? Um, you know, honestly, I don't know. Um, I think really I have to credit the magic of Iron Chef and the magic of Chopped. I really always wanted to be an Iron Chef. You know, some people want to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. I just really wanted to be an Iron Chef. So that was something I set out to do. And then, of course, Chopped is just unbelievable. I think that it's the new way that Americans are learning about how many different ingredients and what a cultural melting pot life can be. You know, I just, I see people cooking with lots of stuff. I see cool ingredients in the grocery store, and I can't help wondering if Chopped and all its magical baskets filled with mystery ingredients hasn't kind of fueled that passion even further in America for just exploring new ingredients and new recipes. All right, so we got this cake. Are we finished? Because I'm going to try to make this cake so the next time I talk to you, I'm going to let you know. I want, I, I really, I expect to see it, and it's going to look just like this. It's going to be gorgeous. You're going to cut a slice, you're going to bite into it, and you're going to say, Alex, we did it.
I think so, and I will be taking bows at my Thanksgiving and my Christmas tables, thanks to Alex Guanicelli. Alex, where would you send my audience on the web once again to find out more about Fisher Nuts, who you hail very much, and about you? Um, you can go to fishernuts.com slash Alex. There's lots of tips and lots of recipes. Good resource. Alex, Gu Alex Guanicelli, I admire you. I love what you do on TV, and thanks for being my guest today. Thank you.